Christmas time crochet. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today a Christmas tree a pattern roundup. Let's get started. We're starting with this fun door hanger. It's sort of a flat design kawaii cuddler. You can of course hang it on your door but you can also just use it as a pillow and it's absolutely adorable. It has such a fun little face and uh, the little star on top is so cute as well. Completely different kind of Christmas tree, a lot easier to make, perfect for gift tags and other ideas that you need, just need to whip up something really fast. If you make it in the same color, you don't have to <laughs> weave in all those dang ends. <laughs> But uh, they look great as um, decorations wherever you want to put them. Now this one is a little bit more intricate. Um, uh, actually, this will require a bit of engineering as far as I can tell. <laughs> but the effect is very cool. I like the little um, branches there. This is the top view. And here we have the side view. So you can actually crochet, literally crochet your own little Christmas tree. And then hang li tiny little baubles in it. How fun is that? Now these are very simple, work up very fast, are very decorative and uh, very modern, cl classic type of, uh, of look. Uh, Scandinavian feel to it. Make them into a garland or use them as a gift tag they're perfect for any christmas occasion and you can whip them up fairly quickly this one is a little bit more elaborate here's a close-up of the little baubles he's holding and <laughs> here's his face and uh, this is the back here it is from in, from the front uh, little legs cool little santa hat and uh, it's adorable it's very cute now this is um um the Christmas tree for people who only want to crochet balls this year. Uh, it's a very nice idea. And of course you can build this bobble Christmas tree as large as you want to. You can go, you can go for it, really. It doesn't have to be small. I love this golden thread trim. It's beautiful. And I love the, the, the fact that they use different uh, kinds of green uh, in this. I think this, there's at least three green colors in here. Um, and the little itty teeny tiny uh, red ones sort of make the whole thing pop. Now this is a vintage uh, pattern for a Christmas tree tea cozy. Look at the little bells. Uh, lots of leaves there. It's it's I <laughs> think it's fantastic. You can put a star on top if you want, and it's just perfect for those little tea moments that you might have around Christmas. This one is a little bit more easy to make. Uh, if you use this this thick kind of fluffy wool, um, you get this wonderful effect. Um, very decorative Christmas trees. And this is the effect if you use a different kind of uh, of uh, of yarn. This is more sort of ac acrylic feel to it, and it's very nice too. I really love these buffalo plaid. is so hot, hot, hot this year, um, and these uh, pillows are very decorative. Uh, I, they're just perfection. I can't say anything else about them except that I absolutely adore these. They're beautiful. A very colorful, simple, uh, adorable little Christmas tree there. I love the details and uh, little trimmings that it has. And here it is not stuffed. So this is the stuffed version, sort of amigurumi. I think it's stuffed or at least it's... Um, uh, propped up to look 3D and this is more of a 2D effect if you um, uh, make it flat and, and, and put it into a little bucket. It's adorable. Very, very nice, very um, uh, cool looking and it goes from very simple to very elaborate. So that's nice. And here's a little uh, bitty itty bitty ones that work up quickly. Uh, great for gift tags, great for uh, Christmas tree decorations. Put and, and, and use every single piece of um, a trim that you can get in there. They are adorable and they are very, very Christmassy and nice. Here's the other one again. So it's a bit of a series, I suppose, with the with the the, the plump one and the, 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 the ones in the buckets and the little hanging ones. They are, um, I think they come as a set. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, the, the patterns, I mean. But uh, you can uh, go different directions with these. This is a bit uh, better photo. <laughs> now, every Christmas this year should have a cat Christmas tree. 
how cool is this thing? It's adorable. I love the little um, a, a, a string of lights there, and it's so cute. It's a, <laughs> the idea itself is fantastic. How cool is this thing? So bleeding cool. So cool. And look at the tail. So cute. Now these are very simple, work up quickly, great as decorations, great as gift tags, great as anything. You can put a little, um, um, make a little garlands out of them, make them in any color, any type of yarn you have. Great stash busters, fantastic little, little Christmas tree there. Perfect. Now this little happy uh, fella is ready for some Christmas cheer. Let's see if we have a better. Oh yeah, here's this without the letters. Um, <laughs> so I love this uh, this idea for a Christmas light. So a little uh, colorful beads there, and they're kept in place by just knotting them, and uh, very very fun. So cool. You can hang this in your Christmas tree, but also make them into decorations. Now this is very cool. We get another red truck Christmas tree uh, pattern later on in this uh, video, but these are already very fun. So you can make them in different sizes uh, by using different uh, sized yarns, different gauge of yarn, and they are absolutely fantastic. I love these. They're so cute. So this one, this smaller one, is uh, made into a little decoration you can hang somewhere, and this is just for putting on and putting it somewhere that people can see and admire it. Now here's the other one I meant. So this is an actual pickup truck with a Christmas tree in it. It's so cute. This one is my favorite and uh, I absolutely adore it. Look at that. You can play with it. It's so cool. Another pillow with a Christmas tree in there. Gorgeous bubble stitch or popcorn stitch and nice and fluffy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at it. Gorgeous. Look at it. It's so cute. Here's a little co more complicated looking one, uh, sort of a swirl around a cone, I think they made. Uh, here's the one in white. Yeah, so they made a cone first and then they added this trim layer. It's a cool effect. Uh, here's the bigger Christmas tree. Um, here's the bigger one in green. I like this effect. It's very sweet. And you can hang little uh, bubbles in there or add little trims, whatever you want. Look at this. It's such a cool little display. This is a cool tree. I love the color. I have to say, I love this minty, minty green, minty, minty blue green color. Um, nice bubble stitch, popcorn stitch um, tree. Make them in different colors, different sizes. Very decorative and very fun. Now, this is a, a, a very funky little Christmas um, scenery with uh, some cool amigurumi um, characters there, but we're going to take a look at those Christmas tree and they're in the back. And here they are by themselves, different colors. I love the little white trim and uh, gorgeous. They're very sweet. Now this little beauty I had to include, um, this is <laughs> a Christmas hat. And uh, it is so cool. <laughs> I really love this one. Um, I, I just, I just, I just can't. I love everything about it. It's perfect. Look how happy she is. <laughs> now this Christmas tree has teeth. Look at that. It's so cool. Sort of a, a, a Halloween Christmas tree there. It's fantastic. I love the little character. And uh, this is not for the faint of heart. I mean, how cool are those teeth though? I have no idea how, how the, the person who made this did that. But the idea is fantastic. <laughs> Now more traditional one with a nice little tree skirt even and a little Santa hat on top. Um, it looks quite complicated, but it's probably uh, uh, easier than it looks. <laughs> I hope so. And this one is perfect uh, for little gift tags or to hang in your tree or make a garland out of. You can decorate them as you want. You can put um, uh, different colors in there. It's, uh, it's just perfect. Use them for whatever you want. Make them in any color to get through that spare stash of yarn that you have, possibly. It's just a, a perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're going to talk about this Christmas tree with the baubles and the, and the layers. And we're going to start at the top with the little star. And here it is. There we go. In all its beauty. Um, let's just take a look at this knitted. 
I think. N these knitted little ornaments out. They look fantastic. But let's take a look at the tree. I'm, I'm getting um, uh, sidetracked again. Um, very nice, very colorful, very fun, and uh, great, great decorative item. This one is a little bit simpler, uh, but not less effective in the decorative uh, sense. It's uh, I really like this one. You can put in, you can you can bling it up as much as you want, um, but it's uh, it's it's also beautiful uh, in its simplicity like that. These are Christmas tree made with all sorts of scales. I love this effect. Um, make them in one color, make them in several colors, make them uh, pop with little colorful beads, bling them up, zhuzh them up. Um, very decorative, very fun. And that's it for the Christmas tree pattern roundup. I hope you found your favorite and are crocheting for Christmas as we speak. Of course, I wish you happy Christmas crocheting. See you next time.